According to my mom, when I was a little girl, she could leave me for hours on end in our 8x8 foot sandbox and I would never get tired of making things. I remember never wanting to leave that space, even if I'd been there all afternoon. How could I leave a place that contained the possibility for a zoo, or a parking garage, or a city, or anything in the world? My summer was an adult version of that sandbox. While I did have some structure, some creative boundaries and goals, I felt alive with creative freedom all summer. The largest part was my internship in New York at Mom and Pop, an independent record label. I worked on the creative team where my work included organizing and seeing through music videos, photo shoots, album artwork, merch, and poster design. I also helped to develop creative marketing strategy for the company's roster of active artists. I absolutely loved my internship for two main reasons. The first was because it was a smaller sized record label, I was able to get experience in everything that goes into putting out creative content for artists. The second, and perhaps most important, was that Sydney, the young woman directly in charge of me, was the best mentor and teacher I could have asked for. I realized having someone to look up to in a workspace is so important to me. Throughout my time in New York and the month I had remaining at home, I worked on lots of personal projects as well. The first was my work on Stanford Women in Design's 2019 conference focused on sustainable design entitled Designing for Her, Keeping Mother Nature in Mind. My best friend Ellie Chen and I are co-leading the conference and we spent multiple hours each day forming the conference bio, reaching out to speakers, organizing team meetings, and structuring the conference as a whole. I also did work for a sustainable surf wax company whose mission I wholeheartedly believe in. Last but not least, I poured myself into my business, Made by Gents, where I expanded into four brick and mortar shops, created lots of new designs, and moved into the space of clothing. As I look forward to my senior year, I hope to weave the most important parts of my summer into my life at school. I hope to translate the creative inspiration I received from mom and pop into my own work. I hope to be the mentor to the younger girls in Stanford Women in Design that Sydney was for me. I hope to continue building, to continue creating, to continue making.